Let's take in part of a typical day in the life of Wolf Mankiewicz. Wolf Mankiewicz was a celebrity of his time, a famous face in demand, writer of books, plays, films, a chat show personality. All I want from the panel, in this case it's you, Wolf Mankiewicz, is the titles of five of them. Istanbul train. Expresso Bongo. The list of films which he either wrote or produced is simply extraordinary. World domination. I remember sitting on Sophia Loren's lap <laughs> when I was about seven or eight years old when he was writing the script for The Millionaires. Get out! He was, um, you know, like the Stephen Fry of that period. He was never not on, you know, television, not appearing. He was hustling away in the film business. An extraordinary life for a family in the limelight with homes in London and in Kent. Even after supper, Wolf doesn't exactly relax. In his heyday, he was author, film script writer and producer, a true celebrity of all that meant in his time. But in later life, he turned to art. These collages have never been seen publicly. They were all made during the 1990s and are dotted with references to people and events of the era. It's the hobby of a creative mind slightly frustrated that it had slipped from the limelight. He's somewhat um, forgotten by the younger generation, but he had such a body of work that hopefully this exhibition will stimulate um, people to come and look and learn a bit more about him and to uh, perhaps revive, revive his memory in some ways. For the Fleet Gallery, this is a unique find. An exciting event celebrating a fascinating life. It's free to view for the next three weeks. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, St Leonard's.